Hi, this is Cynthia Kane, best-selling author of How to Communicate Like a Buddhist and Talk to Yourself Like a Buddhist, and my new book will be coming out the end of April, How to Meditate Like a Buddhist. And I want to just acknowledge that we are going through a lot right now. Things are very uncertain. There are a lot of unknowns. We don't know when this will end. We don't know what the future looks like after all of this is over. And it's a pretty scary time for people and tensions are high and stress and overwhelm and people are at home working full time, parenting full time as schools are closed. And so it's really important to See how you are interacting to start paying attention to if you're speaking in a kind, honest, and helpful way and how the potential lack of sleep or overwhelm is affecting how you're connecting with your partner, with your family, with your children, especially now being in close quarters. And so if I were to just give you a little bit of a practice to be able to help you right now in what it is that we're going through. It's to start paying attention to how you are speaking to yourself, how you're speaking to yourself about um, the pandemic, how you're speaking to yourself about quarantine, how you're speaking to yourself about your work right now, your children, um, and really seeing if the way that you are connecting with yourself is causing you more fear, anxiety, and stress, more suffering, more discomfort, or if your language is helping you feel more freedom, more ease, more abundance. And if you notice that you are speaking in a way that is unkind and unhelpful and hurtful and causing more stress, that's your cue to notice it. Say, thanks for sharing. Come back to your present moment. What are my feet doing? What are my hands doing? What is my body doing? and choose to connect with yourself in a helpful way. One that, um, a voice that is similar to how you would connect with a friend. I hope this is helpful for you in this time. And I really am sending just all the love in the world, all over the world. Mwah.